Good morning, everyone. Eves not here. Feed burner is the topic of the day. Um, what is a, what is feed burner? It's basically it's a tool that you can use to to have custom made uh, RSS feeds. Um, so that actually helps with as far as say you have um, subscribers to your content on your blog, so they don't have to always keep going to your website. Uh, what it does is you can email your subscribers pretty much any time you create a new post. So it's a cool little tool to constantly, you know, if you're always writing blog posts, you're, you know, that's always sending it to them via the RSS feed. Now, what is an RSS feed? It is, um, I believe it's called a rich text summary. So it's kind of um, almost like a, just a text only summary of your website um, without like all the pictures and all that stuff. So that's what RSS feeds are. So, but feed burner is actually really good because, you know, some people just kind of want to just read it through their, um, like their feeds, through their RSS feeds. Um, I know I, like I myself, I am subscribed to a bunch of different blogs so I can read like about, read about things in my niche. So what I do is I actually feed it through um, like a feed reader. I use something called Feed Demon. And so I just put the RSS feed into that. So then when I log on to that or when I when I go to that that program, I can just see all the blog posts from you know from different blogs. So that's kind of an easier way to organize things. So but with that you can also um, with the RSS feeds you can do multiple things with it. You can promote your post. You know you can send your RSS feed to other places. So but yeah, by using FeedBurner, it kind of cleans it up. You can kind of customize that feed. You can also monetize. You can monetize it on that feed. So that's pretty much what you know how you can use RSS feed and FeedBurner.